Even though the past couple of years we've been waiting for Dogecoin to finally take off, explode and make us rich, it didn't happen. Because of that, I needed to get into plan B, which was starting a YouTube automation channel. And let me tell you, that definitely worked out. In fact, in contrast to Dogecoin, my YouTube channel absolutely exploded. As you can see right there, this graph just continues to go up and up. Even right now, we're hitting close to $600 per day. Now, I can play the cool guru here and just simply show off my stats and look at me, I'm rich and blah, blah, blah. But let's not do that. I'm gonna break this down into four simple steps that you can copy to get these results yourself. I'll reveal the actual framework I use to grow this channel from pretty much zero all the way up to $600 a day and will continue to grow up to a thousand bucks per day. Number one of which is uploading, uploading, uploading. I know it sounds super simple. However, many people seem to get this wrong. They think that after uploading five videos, they should get results. And if there are no results, they must be doing something wrong. But usually you're just too early into the process in order for you to tell whether videos are good or bad. And because of that, you need to upload, upload, upload. That's exactly what I did on this channel myself as well, especially in this period right there. Even though I wasn't getting crazy revenue, I was not getting a lot of views. I uploaded and uploaded and uploaded. And because of that, I started getting more and more data. Now later on in this process, data becomes a big part of it, which I'll cover in a bit. First, let's understand why uploading, uploading, uploading is step number one. In order for you to get used to uploading, in order for you to get used to making videos, to analyze videos, to create video ideas, to create thumbnails, to have thumbnails made, basically everything there is to YouTube automation, you simply need to do it. You can read about it, but the best way to learn is to simply do it. That comes with many things in life. You don't read about push-ups and get results. You do the push-ups and then you get results. The same goes with YouTube. So first of all, upload, upload, upload. Now, once you do upload, you get data, which brings me to number two. Data is king and analyzing data is even better because then you can understand why your audience likes your videos or doesn't like your videos why your video gets views or doesn't get views. And with that information, you can improve and make better videos, which is what it's all about when you wanna grow on YouTube. I've studied and watched so many Mr. Beast interviews and the basic thing he comes back to all the time is making better videos for his audience. That's all he cares about. And because of that, he stays on top and continues to make crazy money and gets crazy views. Now, if Mr. Beast does that, who are we to not do it? So. Step number two, analyze your data. Because you've done step number one, you've uploaded a lot of videos, you now have data. So what should you look for? First of all, you wanna go to see more in your YouTube studio and then take a look at which videos are currently performing well on your channel. Even though that would be 20 views or 10 views, please take a look at the top performing videos of your channel. Because by figuring out what is currently performing well, you can understand what it is that has been working and that will most likely work in the future as well. If you don't take a look at your data, you've got no clue which videos are currently performing, you've got no clue what to double down on. Which brings us to step number three. Once you've analyzed your data, you've got a good understanding of what is performing really well or what is not performing well, it's time to act on that. Double down on what works and get rid of what doesn't work. By doing this, you create the best effect possible because right now, you've got your videos. They're perfectly in balance. You've got some things that work, you've got some things that don't work. If you then simply get rid of the things that don't work and continue to do the things that work, your video is gonna get so much better and you'll get better performance. You can do so by taking a look at the CTR and watch time on your videos to see where people click off by taking a look at their format, their colors, or any similarities in between different thumbnails and their CTR. For example, this CTR is 21% that tells me it's really good. I probably don't need to change this. So this means I can double down. I'll take a look at the thumbnail and I'll do more of what it is that I did in that thumbnail. Next up, I'll take a look at the audience retention. This video in particular has a 35% retention rate which is not great but i can click on top moment to see where people enjoyed watching and they continue to watch it which in this case was the setup the intro phase so i'm going to re-watch this and see what it is that i did there that i should do again i'm also going to click on the dip and analyze why people click off at this moment and then get rid of that so that it doesn't happen again which will boost my watch time you now have the setup in order to get it going however number four is the golden feedback loop this is something that we cover in the automation for program as well so i'll give you a sneak peek basically it comes down to setting up a framework a system that allows yourself to simply keep doing what works and keep 
getting rid of what doesn't work. Basically, analyzing your data on a set schedule. What I used to do myself in order to get the results that we see up on the screen right here, meaning over $85,000 in the last year, and this is gonna hit $100,000 really soon, is simply analyzing the data every single day or every single week. In the beginning, I actually did that every single day. Now, I do it every single week. Reason for that is because I already have a format that works, I've got it covered, I know exactly what to do in order to keep this growing, and because of that, I can keep a weekly overview rather than a daily one. However, I'll still tune in every single day to see the stats. So what I'll do, I'll quickly take a look. How many subs are we growing right now? What's the watch time like? What's the revenue like? What are the views like? And what I then do, especially with revenue, I open up that specific day of revenue. So I'll go to custom, I'll click in this case on the most recent day, which is the 21st of October. I'll open this, I click revenue, and then I see what's going on as of right now. I noticed that I made $480. I'll then go to see more here. I'll take a look at the top performing videos to see if there are any videos that made me more money than usual or any videos that are up and coming. By doing this all the time, you can understand what is currently working out well so that you can do more of that and make more money. It's one of the easiest frameworks and one of the most basic things that you can set up. However, it will do wonders just like it did for my channel and even my other channels as well. I'll leave you off with important advice so that you can establish this yourself. Always know what's going on in your business, in this case, in your YouTube automation channel. Know the stats, know what's going on, know why it's going on, know what you should do next, know everything and you'll succeed. Now, if you also wanna get a high CPM just like me, please click on this video right there to find the highest CPM niches and I'll explain how that works.